everyone, welcome. As much as I love going to the bins, I needed a break this week. I love going in there and picking up some great books and some clothes and then doing my whatnot once a week, but I just honestly, this week, I just needed a break. <laughs> I've been doing it for three months straight. I just needed a break and variety is the spice of life and my life has just been a little bland lately. Uh, it's self-inflicted because, you know, I've been trying to get some of my death pile listed. Um, but I also need some new stuff uh, because to keep me interested. <laughs> so I have decided to go to the Goodwill by the boys house and that is because this Goodwill seems to get some higher ASP donations and some really good sell through rate brands which are going to be the only two categories I'm going to pick up. I'm going to be good. So it either needs to have a high sell through rate or it needs to have a high ASP in order for me to pick it up because again I'm still working on my death pile and I found some great stuff at this place so I figured if I'm going to do that I would have the best look at this location so hopefully I'm right and I'm going to take you guys with me and uh, hopefully it'll be a good day. All right so I'm actually going to start recording here in the women's plus size section. I started over here in this side and quickly realized that all of the labels were facing the other way so I'm just going to mosey on over to the other side so that way it can be easier for both of us one so you can see the labels and two so i don't have to fiddle with things uh, to show you what's going on you can see that i've only found a pair of shoes so far i have actually gone through all of the shoes i also went through the hard goods i didn't find anything and i also went through the books didn't see anything there either this i believe is a torrid dress but it had cold shoulders and cold shoulder shoulders aren't really in right now i have tried multiple times to sell cold shoulder stuff and it is not selling this i picked up because it says made by johnny so i set it up top here to check to see if that was like a johnny was label because i am not familiar with all the johnny was labels or all the, the johnny was delineations because i have legitimately only found johnny was twice in my life once it's a vintage piece that is I still have up for sale because it's a very odd vintage piece and then a you know a dress a regular dress which sold like as soon as I listed it again dot who bought it who's the viewer bought it from me so again thank you and so I don't have a whole lot of experience with that brand so it is actually not Johnny was sadly now this is Lane Bryant it is a brand new with tags dress so this would have been nine dollars and 25 cents it's cute but the problem is is that it is an off the shoulder dress and it is going it's a knit dress so this we're going out of the season for that and i probably even knew with tags would have only gotten like 25 30 dollars for it it's not meeting the metrics i want to want to meet and it the sell through rate's not going to be there so if that was at the bins, absolutely would have picked it up, no problem, because then I would have been paying, like, what, a dollar, maybe two for it, but I'm not going to pick it up here. So I am just continuing to go through here and seeing if I can find anything else. This is a new with tags Carhartt piece. So this is a t-shirt. T-shirts at the Goodwill here in my area are $6.25 for one. Oh, I'm maybe it's maybe it's not that. Maybe it's five dollars and twenty-five cents for one, and if you get two, it's six dollars and twenty-five cents. I think that's the correct thing. So if it's five twenty-five for one, I set it aside and hoping that I'll find another t-shirt at somewhere. Because it doesn't matter like if it's men's or women's. If you find two t-shirts, it counts. So I've set that on the side of my cart hoping that I'll find another t-shirt. Now, I do believe I, I do actually find another t-shirt for that. So that way I do end up picking it up and that makes it so that t-shirt is only like $3 instead of $5. This is a little jumper, but um, it wasn't a brand and it wasn't vintage. Uh, if it was vintage, cool. The brand doesn't matter. Bless me. I sneezed in the video. I, I you know, the, the training can't get away from it. I tell people bless you all the time when I'm out and around. It's not a, a necessarily a faith thing. It's so much that I feel like it's rude if I don't. This is Eloquy. Eloquy is actually uh, a great plus size brand. Uh, I am passing on, I actually pass on two Eloquy pieces as I'm going through here because they are pieces that would have had an under thing. 
So that is only the sheer polyester shell. It is not the actual whole piece. It would have had like a little cami underneath of it that would have come with it. And both the pieces I found were just the outer shell. It wasn't the undergarment that would have made it so you couldn't see the bobs uh, underneath the shirt. And so that's why I just ended up passing on them. Now, if I found that at the bins, would I have still gotten it? Yes, but I'm not going to pay $5.25 for something that's not <laughs> complete. It would have been fine if it was, you know, a dollar. Then, you know, I could still probably sell it for like 10 to 15 But again, as I talked about in the car, I only want, you know, either high sell-through pieces or high ASP pieces because I am trying to get through my death pile and... I'm, I'm trying to be good. So the same thing with the t-shirts. Tank tops are buy one, get one for $5.25. Yes, $5.25. Buy two, get two for $6.25. The thing is, is that depending on the goodwill, it doesn't count. So I have one t-shirt, I have one tank top. They will still sell both of them to me. One of them for $5.25 and the other one for $5.25. They have to match. So I would have to find another sleeveless tank top in order to get the, cor the correct price, quote unquote. Um, so those two together do not make one thing. I have to find another tank top. I do end up putting that back. It is a 2XL Harley tank top with all the rhinestones attached to it. This is another one of those Eloquy pieces. You can see here it's kind of not as sheer, but it still would have had a thing underneath of it. In, in my opinion, that would have had a thing underneath of it. So I just passed on it. Um, I, I like the Eloquy dresses and the Eloquy blazers. Those are actually nice. Now this is Life is Good. I do normally pick up Life is Good and I do have that other tank top, but that one had some flaws on it. So I passed on it. That is what happened there. This, I just, it's a bright color. That is like highlighter, green, yellow, whatever color you want to call it. So I'm going to go around here to the other side and see if I can find anything this side. Now this is a beautiful Torah dress. Gorgeous Torah dress. I, just, I just literally said it's cute. Um, but this is the new tag. Now, now that I have, you know, checked out already I feel like I should have gone back and picked that up because I found a bunch of stuff that cost averaged my my total amount to like where it was five dollars and 39 cents I'll tell you that later on but you know voiceover Bob gets to the beautiful beauty of hindsight right I could have bought that one here's another eloquy piece but again it's a sh it's a shell it would have had something underneath of it gorgeous that would have been gorgeous for Valentine's Day. Like, Eloquy makes some really cute pieces. Like, just absolutely lovely. Um, very flattering silhouettes, too. Very cute patterns. Great, great plus size brand. Um, I also think this is really neat, too. Um, this is Line Bryant. Again, if I had picked this dress up and if I had picked the Torah dress up, that would have raised probably my total cost with my cost averaging to probably like six and a half dollars instead of five dollars and 40 cents, which isn't that bad. But again, it's leaving less wiggle room overall. So I'm I'm a little sad I passed on them. Like if I wasn't trying to only get high sell through stuff and only get high ISP stuff, I probably would have picked those up. But again, I'm trying to be good. I don't need to add more stuff. So that is why I passed on those two things. Even though I'm sure maybe some of y'all in the comments are like, you should have picked that up still. Uh, that's the first. I've never seen a mossy oak pajama set in camo before. This is Juicy Couture. Uh, this is uh, marked up. It's also a velour tracksuit set. I'm not up to date whether or not people like I know Y2K and 90s are still in. I just haven't seen see a, another piece. Absolutely would have picked this up. If it was just me shopping, normal shopping, would have picked that up because I think it's absolutely adorable. But I was good and I left it behind because it's not technically vintage. That's like a more modern Sag Harbor, probably like 2010 or something. Still super cute. Absolutely loved it. Definitely would have picked it up if I wasn't trying to be good. 
but I haven't seen teenagers or college kids wearing the velour tracksuit. Definitely not like it was, you know, in the mid aughts. I know for a while that was supposedly a thing on TikTok, but I haven't seen it in like real life. So I'm just passing on that. If you're wondering what that god awful sound is, that is somebody moving a metal table very slowly onto the floor from the back. Uh, I don't know what TMG is. Oh my god. So this is something on the floor. I do check floor finds when I see them when they've fallen off because you'll never know if you find something really awesome on the floor where it just got knocked over. Uh, and plus it's just, you know, nice to be a good person. So that's something somebody else doesn't have to do. So there you go. And I do fix the hangers too, but that's just the, you know, <laughs> person who look, worked in retail for way too long. I, I just can't not fix stuff. Also it just makes it nicer for the next person. That's me double checking that it's not vintage. Uh, that I don't I don't know why I'm going back through here. I think it's just because I'm rethinking something. I don't know what this brand is, and I did not close in on it so you could see it. So yay! This is me going over here. I just thought this was cute. I was also trying to feel who's linen. It's cotton. It's a cute little baby thing. So this is me walking past the kids stuff. I don't really sell kids. I really only like look down the aisle if something catches my eye. Then I'll go pick it up and like look at it harder but I don't really do kids uh, I, I pick some stuff at the ends, but that's about it I don't know what this brand is I probably should have looked it up um, but I didn't this this is me laughing because this is from an anime it is just like a fast fashion brand that printed that but that's like a creepy old dude from an anime you'll at least see one dude dressed up like that at any convention you go to I can't remember his name but it, that's just an anime thing. I just, that's why I thought it was funny. I just looking through here. This is like, it's kind of t-shirts, but it's like long sleeve workout shirts, short sleeve workout shirts, sleepwear, I think is what the end of it says. But I always go through here. I go through every men's section just because I found some great stuff hiding in here. Uh, I keep also like plain t-shirts. I don't overlook those either because of that one proof t-shirt that I sold for like $30, which is a, a Huckberry brand. Again, just me fixing some stuff. I don't really find anything in this row. I do mess some stuff up as you can see, but I fix it. So it's okay. Uh, I didn't find anything in this row, but the men's section is normally where I find my goodies. Mutual Weave, I think is a subscription box service but not something that I would, you know, pay $6.25 for a shirt because I'm not going to be able to resell it for that. Land's End. Just a regular t-shirt. I thought this was funny. I, th I thought for a second I did like a gasp inside. I was like, oh, did I find a polo bear? No, I found a Forever 21 bear, which is not as cool. I mean, it was a cute bear, but no. So you saw the Kenneth Cole item there. I, I rarely pick up Kenneth Cole at all. I might pick it up for myself, but not for resale at all. So you can see how sad the men's jeans section is. Every single Goodwill in my area, this is what the jean section looks like. Also, half of the jeans in the section are actually women's jeans, which I always find hilarious because it has um, some women's jeans brands do it by the wayside and they assume that because it's by waist measurement instead of the vanity sizing that it's a men's pants which always makes me laugh when I look in here but I'm hoping and also you know because there's so little here it's super easy to go through right that's that's super easy so I think those were like seven and I was trying to see if that had the dojo pockets or not I don't I don't know some things um, these are 514s, I think, but not one of the Levi's that I pick up for men's. That is a pair of 505s, but they're men's and they're modern. And this is, uh, again, a pair of 505s, but they're men's and they're modern. This is me trying to check to see if it's modern or not. So if it says made in the USA, I will pick it up for men's. And I'm also trying to see if they're 505s that have been 
accidentally put in the men's section, but are women's, I will still pick up 505 for women. These were weird. I saw the little like leather patch in the back on the butt. Uh, these are G-Star Raw and these are totally worth me putting in my cart. It's got a button fly. It's got like weird knees. This is the uh, Slim, the SD Slim or whatever. And I look it up and they're totally worth picking up. This is me trying to find my phone. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward the phone thing. When I hit sold completed, you can totally see that the comps are between 30 to $60. So that definitely went into my cart. So very exciting to find like a definite yes in the clothing because it had been very dry up until this point. And this was just the first win that I encountered in this trip, but that's pretty great. This is me looking inside to make sure there's not like anything untoward inside of the pants. And also this is me, you know, making like checking to see what size it is to see if it's a good size. It's a, it's an interesting size. It's 31, 32s. So not a common size. So that will either be a good thing or a bad thing, but kind of a skinny, skinnier style jean. So that's all that. Now I am going to go through all of the men's pants. I thought this was cool for a second, but those are the wrong mountains. It's the Wrangler mountain. I almost got excited there. I love cool pants. They always sell uh, so fast. And by cool, I don't mean like totally cool, dude. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did that. I meant like cool, like K-U-H-L, the brand. So I do go through all the pants. I am feeling for material and quality. I would love some linen pants right now, but I did not find any. This is me showing you. This is what the inside of a pair of pants uh, that look like that you would wear with suspenders. They would have extra buttons inside the pants. So if you ever wondered when you're looking at men's pants, why some of them have weird buttons inside of them, it's so that way you can wear suspenders instead of a belt, or you can wear both with that particular pair of pants. You could wear both suspenders and a belt. Um, I'm also feeling not only for wool, I'm feeling for silk, I'm feeling for linen, I'm also feeling for performance uh, material. So like something you would feel would be on like workout pants because a lot of times those are golf pants like foot joy pants. So that's what I'm also feeling because it's so fiddly to try to look at all the brands inside. So I just touch all of the clothing and then when I find something good, uh, when I with my hands, then I look to see if it is actually something good or if it's just tricking me. But I, it's normally pretty difficult to go through here and like find anything. I have found a couple of at this particular location uh, a brand specifically for shorter men. The brand's called Ash and Airy, and all of those pants, like I found a, a nice run of them. Uh, it's again, Ash and Airy, if you find them out, they sold super fast and they all sold for between like 25 to $35. So, I mean, that was like a year ago, but I haven't checked to see if the sell through rate is still there, but those were great. And I found those here and it was because I was feeling the material. And then I looked, I was like, these pants are really tiny. And then I was like, are these women's pants that are in the wrong section? No, they're, they're measured out like men's pants. That's odd. This is me putting a pair of pants aside because I had not heard of this brand before. Oh, no, it's Bonobos. I have heard of the brand before. Uh, I've heard Lori Tata talk about this brand. I think it's because one of her sons like it. So I wanted to look up to see if, like, these pants would match my sell-through rate ASP thing that I'm trying to do. They did not. I did put them back. But if I wasn't trying to be good, I would have actually still picked them up because they will eventually sell and they'll sell for, like, 20 bucks but because I'm trying to be good I I put them away <laughs> also they were they would have been full price which is 625 so just just trying to be better also I hate listing pants so unless I absolutely know it's going to sell quickly this is me just like future proofing myself if it's not something that I know is going to sell fast I'm probably not going to bother listing it right now although I am going to be good for this haul and try to get everything listed either the day this video goes up and or like the day after because a uh, spoiler alert I do get over 20 pieces in this haul so that is a lot to list especially because I have to clean most of it uh, if you don't wash the clothing that you get from the thrift store you do you I say that all the time if this doesn't work for you 
you do what's best for your business. But I wash things because otherwise I, they like spray this thing on clothing and I'm allergic to it. So it just helps me out. Those are on the top of the cart because I'm going to look them up. The brand is BC clothing and those are new with tags. So that's why I wanted to look them up. I do try to like look up stuff that is new with tags to see if it's worth picking up. And when I did go to look it up later, it was, they were selling for like $20, $25 and they were consistently selling for $20, $25 in new condition. So that was a definite yes. This is me trying to check uh, what these are. They are a pair of linen trousers, but they have the rolled hem at the bottom. Uh, also, I am singing the song. So if you random here, it sounds like I'm mumbling. I am, I am singing the song that is currently playing on the radio. Ooh, did we find another new tags item? Yes. Is it Peter Millar? Yes. Is it original price $149? Yes. Is it somehow not marked up? This is me double checking that it's not marked up because they normally mark up stuff like this at Goodwill. I just punched you guys in the face. I'm so sorry. Um, but that is definitely going in my cart. I cannot believe that they did not mark those up. And back into the pants here. This is a pair of camo, like regular military pants. I'm just going to go through the rest of these. See if there's not uh, more goodness in here. This is another new with tags, but it, I just decided to leave it behind. This is another pair of convertible pants. These are Eddie Bauer. Uh, convertible pants. This is like the perfect season for convertible pants. Eddie Bauer is definitely a brand I pick up at the bins. I was like, you know, pants are only six twenty-five, and I know that these sell very quickly. I have never held on to a pair of convertible pants, men's and women's. They consistently sell for me, normally within like 30 days of me listing them, regardless of the brand, if I mark them appropriately. So I knew I'd be able to get rid of those. And by get rid of those, I mean like make money on them, especially this time of year. This is like literally the perfect time of year. I got distracted. I saw another new tags item. This is Women's Gap. So I'm in the men's section. I, like I said, they're not... They're not great about knowing it, but if you don't care about clothing and you're just like trying to hang some clothes up that you get in a giant bin, I, I totally understand why. If you don't care about clothing, you're just doing your best. So I take a distraction over here to the blazers to see if there's anything uh, cool in here. This is Baroni. Now this is a beautiful vintage piece, but it was a three button blazer. Uh, three button blazers are not on style or in style right now. So I typically do not pick up a three button blazer unless it's like a really like superb brand piece and or material. So I passed on that. I'm just showing you how I go through the men's blazers and just checking for, I either check the neck to see if it says like made in Italy or made in Spain or made in Canada or made in the USA. If I see any of those up in the neck, definitely checking them out. Uh, and then I'm looking inside to see what the material is. This is a vintage piece. Again, I'm being good. So I passed on it, but that was like from the seventies. I might have been tempted to keep it or not keep it, but like get it. That's chaps. Vintage chaps can do well. This is me trying to like move my cart back because there's like a sketch dude over there just kind of giving me weird vibes. So I'm just trying to keep my stuff close to me. Uh, <laughs> but I'm checking to see all the labels, uh, checking to see if there's a material. I'm looking for like Harris Tweed. I am looking for, you know, different brands like Canali would be great. I'm looking for. Ralph Lauren. There's another three button blazer. So pass on that. Uh, I'm looking for uh, Laura Piana, like all kinds of those kind of brands. Um, sometimes Lauren, Ralph Lauren. I have found blazers from them and sold them. Uh, looking for sizes as well. That's what I'm looking in the pockets here is because I was thinking about this one and I was trying to find the size because this is Oscar de la Renta, which is technically a designer brand. And this was a silk wool blend. It felt really nice, but these were not selling well on eBay at all. Like an absolutely abysmal sell-through rate and then a low um, sell-through. This is another thing I would have picked up if I wasn't being good because it's vintage. It's a two-button corduroy blazer with the leather patches on the back. It was a size 46. You can hear me making the... 
sound because I'm so sad I left it behind. I'm being good, but that is my weakness. Give me a corduroy blazer with leather patches any day. Either I like still my dream thrift item is a green corduroy LL Bean blazer for myself with brown elbow patches. I found one. It didn't fit me. And I'm hoping to manifest it that one day I will find one that fits. Speaking of something to fit me, I actually really liked this vest. And so I tried it on to see if I, if it fit me, which is why you guys are going to get bunches of like blackouts right now. So this is just me trying it on. And then I'm going to go look in the mirror. Hello. This is me. You guys are getting covered. <laughs> You can see how small my camera is. It's just that tiny pill in the middle of my chest. Uh, it's too big. I would need to take it in about an inch on each side. And I don't need another project. I have so many projects right now. So um, this is where we're going to stop for the thrifting portion of the video. And I'm going to show you all the good stuff that happened as soon as my camera cut off. I got, got dark real fast. Uh, it looks like it's going to sprinkle, so I am going to run to the boy's house and take uh, Eileen for a short walk because <laughs> he's not coming home probably like till 6 o'clock because he's at the office all day in Richmond. So I want to try to let her out of the house and go potty so she's not home all day by herself. But I'm going to do that. Uh, I found a bunch of Carhartt and I found Burberry and my average... I spent $124 and my average sale price was like five dollars and 39 cents but i think i did good so i'm gonna go give her a walk and then i will show you what i picked up i think the favorite thing about giving her a walk is like her little butt wiggle i know it means that she's probably gonna have hip problems later as she gets older but it's so cute Welcome to the haul, y'all. Let me show you what I picked up at the Goodwill. I am so excited to show you, and I've got so much work to do because by the time this video goes out, hopefully almost everything will be listed, if not everything. That's my goal. So, <laughs> let's get started. <laughs> um, I did get one pair of shoes. I only found one that it was worth paying $8 for, in my opinion. This is a pair of Cole Hans. Now, I don't typically pick up Cole Hans unless they're the Grand OS's or certain styles of women's, but these were great shape. Like, there's very little heel strike. Of course, there's some scuffing of the leather, leather from the leather sole, but these were a nice pair of black wingtips, and the main thing was that these are my goodness now I'm not gonna be able to find it hold on I think it's in this one these are a size 10 3e so they are a very wide width and that is why I picked them up is because they're in really good shape they're wingtip and they're in triple e which is a, a pretty wide width so that is very exciting definitely can I'm gonna list those for like a little over $30 and hope uh, we'll see what happens or at least that's kind of what like the comps look like but those ones weren't uh, as wide so maybe 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 a little bit more I also found like G Star Raw for this is the second time the first time was a pair of like skinny jeans for women and I, it's still a slim fit, but this is actually a men's pair of jeans. These are the G-Star Raw. These are the 3D Slim. And this is a pair of 3132s. But I could tell when I looked at the back, because what I'm doing when I'm normally scanning jeans is I'm checking for the back patch hoping to find, you know, some Levi's 560s or some vintage 505s or some silver tabs. But that's normally where I'm looking for is the back patch. But I saw this weird little doohickey on the back. I was like, that's interesting. And then I looked at how weird these are shaped. So I was like, geez, so raw, amazing. So these are going for, depending on the size and the color and the condition, between $30 to $50. So that's 
checking off the ASP price for me. As I mentioned, my average um, cost of goods, I'm going to do cost averaging, is $5.39, $5.40 if you want to round up. And so I got some things to like help bring the cost down because as I said, uh, the um, Kohans were going to be $8 and the jean price is, the denim price is for like this would be $9, $9.25 because it's the new tag. The new tag was the purple tag, which a lot of this stuff is the new tag. So I got some other stuff that maybe at $5.40 doesn't make sense to some people, but I did it to bring down the cost of everything else so that way I would make a higher profit overall. I hope that makes sense. But I picked this up because it is a burnout tee. It is GM official licensed product, but it is a Chevrolet burnout tee for men. And this would have been like $2 because <laughs> this is orange tag. So the Goodwills in my area have now gone to two colors of the week where one color is half off and one color is 75% off. I don't remember which is which, but I think this is the orange color was the 75% off one. So that would have made this like $2. I don't really feel like this is going to sell for a whole lot, but we're getting into the warm weather and the burnout is gets more popular in the summer months because it's really lightweight and soft. So I have good luck selling the burnout style clothing in Lucky. So car stuff, figured that would do well. More pants. So I picked this up because it's new with tags and whatever this thing is. <laughs> this is BC clothing. Also, these are convertibles. So I convertible hiking pants for me, men or women's, always seems to sell really fast and really well for me. But I saw that these were selling in new condition for between 20 and $25. And, you know, it's always easier to sell something new, I feel, sometimes. And we are in the season for the hikeable pant or the hiking convertible pants because in the morning it's cold, but as you're hiking, you might it might get warm. So that was perfect. And speaking of, I got another one. These are Columbia, I think. No, Eddie Bauer. So these are Eddie Bauer. They're 3630s, which is a great size. And these are also convertible as well. I love this brand. Uh, normally I typically only pick this up at the bins, but the convertible hiking pants, I would totally be cool with. Now pants aren't the same price as jeans. They're $6.25, I think. So much more reasonable, but here is this also the new color of the week tag. I could not believe <laughs> they did not mark these up. I guess they just don't know the brand, which is so funny to me that they'll mark up like Nike and Adidas and they'll mark up like, they, they mark up some interesting things, but Peter Millar, brand new pair of Peter Millar corduroy pants in this tan color, especially since the MSRP is right there. It says the original MSRP is $149. And they did not mark these up. Brand new with tags. So excited about these. These were also the new color of the week, so they had probably just put these out. Very, very exciting. <laughs> now, I was looking online, and depending on the size and the color, in new condition, these are selling between $40 and $70. So, super excited about that. Definitely also checking off the ASP. I did pick up some things that maybe weren't the high ASP, but we were in the right season and I thought that they would sell. And again, also picking some things up because I wanted to bring my average cost down. So we have another orange tag. So this was 75% off, I think. And this is Eli and Cattleman and it is a 2X tall. And I've talked about before how I always pick up stuff for my tall people because I'm tall and I know I look out for it. And also tall and big for men tend to sell faster for me. So this is a 2XL tall and it is a pearl snap short sleeve and it is in excellent condition. Got all the pretty snaps. So I thought this was amazing to pick that up. Now short sleeve shirts at the Goodwill in my area are 525. So it's 75% off. This was like bins pricing at that point, like a dollar and 25 cents or $1.50, something like that. So really low cost there. Again, we're cost averaging. I did pick up Free People. 
I picked this up because it was weird and I didn't check the exact style so shame on me but when something is odd that makes me more interested in trying it and this is super odd <laughs> um this is a pair of like linen style pants but they're not full length pant they're like they got this weird asymmetrical bottom hem here this paper bag waist with like a wooden toggle and a button fly they're just weird uh they're extra small but because these are so weird uh, i thought i would give them a try and these were also half off so they're cotton linen and rayon so i don't know i have no idea maybe editing bob will be awesome and like put a comp here but if not you know 20 20 bucks maybe i have no idea so now we're gonna get into more stuff that just got put out literally i saw a brand new rack and i went over of course to the brand new rack once the uh, cashier once the person that was putting the clothes out went to go cash somebody out so i could go look at the rack and like not bother them i found a whole run of carhartt <laughs> and so this is a 2xl tall so again tall Carhartt, we know, is still doing well, performing well, especially these larger sizes. So it is a men's pocket polo. Amazing. Um, hold on, I gotta come over here to this one. There's so many of this. Uh, this was also there. It was a 3XL, 3XL hoodie with the Carhartt logo here in the center. So if you did not know, having the logo like small up by like the neck is what's on trend now. I mean, you can still do like the big spell out or whatever, but this is what's on trend. So I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And this is their force hoodie, or I don't know if that's special or not, but I saw that and was like absolutely picking that up. And then there was a second one, <laughs> also 3XB, also with it, right there by the neck also a force hoodie and then we have some t-shirts <laughs> 3xl relaxed fit force t-shirt <laughs> and again this is one of those right place right time moments i guess this is a pocket tee 3xl <laughs> Let's see, where is, okay. I, I think there's another one in here somewhere. I'll show it to you when I come across it. But yeah, all the Carhartt stuff I found on a new rack. Amazing. This is, uh, I did pick up a couple of vintage pieces because I saw that they were selling for like over $20. And or I, I figured it could sell or it was cool enough to sell. So this is a vintage uh, indigenous artist named... Lita C. Soares, and it is a vintage t-shirt, probably late 90s, Y2K era, but look at that graphic, and it is made in the USA, and now I, this is a men's size medium, but I think that that's super cool, really cool, there I could put like boho, southwest, that kind of stuff. And I found women's Carhartt. Also, this is uh, one of those older tags, I think. Am I right or am I wrong? Oh no, it's a new tag. This was in the women's plus size section. It is a women's 2XL or XXL, I'm sorry. So it's a size 20 Carhartt t-shirt with like the cute Carhartt on there and it's new with tags, which is exciting. I also picked this up because this, I believe, was 75% off. Yep, it's the orange tag. And it's Polo Jeans Company, Ralph Lauren, and it's a size extra large. And it's just this flannel, like, check, red and black check. And it's larger size. It's Polo Ralph Lauren. And it's in really good shape. So I picked this up because I felt like I could sell that. And we're going out of that, but still... Same thing with these. I was also just trying to find more shorts. I didn't find really any shorts. 
that would be worth reselling except for these and that was because these would be half off i think shorts are 5.25 as well at this location so these would have been like two dollars and some change but vineyard vines uh, i don't really have a great luck selling that in women's but the sell through rate for the men seemed a bit better and these are size 35 and they're pink which you might be like pink i was like yeah but like that just works with vineyard vines i don't know why apparently pink shorts are okay there's my receipt to show that i pay for things this oh here it is here's another one of the carhartt pieces this is another 3xl polo pocket polo so i feel like i have two of the exact same thing i think both of these are navies so that would be great if i could just list one and then put a quantity of two that would be awesome all right this is the other vintage piece that i thought i would try just because of several uh factors for it so this is a men's size small this is very vintage. It is single stitched. So not only is it single stitched here on the sleeve, it is also single stitched down here at the bottom. So this is like, I'm guessing 80s based on the collar of it. Uh, but it is made in the USA and it is a Porsche polo. So what I could do, this says it's a men's size medium. This would fit me perfectly. So what I might do is market this instead as women's because unless there's anything specifically on here that says men's, I might just put unisex vintage medium and see what happens. But I figured, you know, vintage car stuff does sell well and it is a single stitch polo. So I thought that I would be able to sell that. This not, people would not pick up because it's damaged, but I can fix it. This is an Adidas collab, and if you're new here, hi! I worked for Adidas for four years as a visual merchandiser and as an assistant manager, and uh, it's named after Adolf Dossler, who created it, and if you are American, you know it as Adidas. I say Adidas because it's Adolf Dossler, Adi Dossler, so Adidas. This is a collab with them and uh, who's an artist, uh, what happened is, is that somebody removed the size tag and unfortunately did not do a good job. <laughs> so I have to reattach. They probably like tried to seam rip the size tag out and just like didn't realize that, that it's also attached to the seam here. So I just have to restitch the seam back together. But this is another one of those items that was 75% off. So $2 for this and this Based on the sizing that I can see of it, it's probably a men's size large or extra large. I have to do the measurements for it, but it's supposed to be this long and it's got like side zippers here. Um, it's a velour shirt and I saw one listed for $30 and I saw one sold for around $30. So definitely was going to pick this up because it's going to be easy for me to fix that. I know most people wouldn't want to deal with that, but you know, that that lowered my average cost of goods. Even though it was technically like $2, it made it so everything was like $5.40. And that would take all of like five minutes to do. So I'm happy with that. This might be something I keep. <laughs> I, I have to wash everything first, but this might be something I keep. It is my neighbor Totoro. I don't know what a one means. Maybe that means one X. So this might be too big for me. But it's green and it's so cute. It's a little tie front crop. Yeah, this is definitely probably maybe a 1X by how wide it is. But it's so sick and cute. I'm so sad if it doesn't fit me. Because I absolutely would wear these with my high waisted jeans and be adorable. I love this. This is like Howl's Moving Castle is my number one Studio Ghibli movie. My neighbor Totoro is number two. So. So cute. Definitely not going to leave that behind. I have no doubt I'll be able to sell that. That probably originally sold at um, Hot Topic, which I have a My Neighbor Totoro uh, sweater over here. So there's that. And here is, oh, this is vintage FUBU. So FUBU, very big, like 90s Y2K brand. 
and I figured for those reasons, since both of those are still popular right now with Gen Z, and this is like uh, FUBU stands for For Us By Us, and this is a 2XL, made in the USA, so definitely vintage, it's, uh, embroidered there. So 2XL, it's got the grid, it's got the front pocket, very on trend right now with Gen Z, so, and it's like loose baggy fit, great size, again, I didn't pick up much vintage, trust me, I left a lot of vintage behind that I would have normally picked up because I wouldn't have been able to say no, but I am trying to get stuff that I think will sell fast or sell for high ASP, so that's why I picked that up. And another vintage piece, this is Ralph Lauren Sport, it's a size small. But this is also 90s Y2K. I saw one of these dresses, not this color, I think it was red, sold for 30. Uh, I'll put, you know, 90s Y2K. I think this is more Y2K because Kelly Green was like really popular in the early aughts. So I'll put Y2K. I will also put Cricut, Cricut style polo dress because whenever you see these stripes, if you watch my sweater video, my breaking down the different sweater style videos, I'll link that up above because not a whole lot of people watched it. But uh, Cricut style sweaters, it's not just that, it's like also this, like this style of striping around the edges of stuff. It doesn't, it's not just for sweaters, it can also be for polos as well. So I'll put that as a keyword as well. It also has like the big patch. So this is like very Y2K and that is why I picked this up also. Dresses, I think, are $8 or $9. I don't remember, but this was one of the orange tags. So that is also why I decided to go ahead and give this a try. It's good to bring my average cost of goods down. It's on trend. It's also on season because we're going into dress season, and I figured it'd be great. This I picked up for me. Uh, it will live in my closet until it sells, which hopefully won't be fast, but whenever I buy something for myself and I list it, it almost always sells before I can really wear it. It is 10th and Ocean, which is not necessarily a great brand, but we're going into linen season. You guys know how much I love my linens, and I thought this was just a really cute, like, button front in my light spring color palette. So, well, I've noticed that whenever I wear, like, the colors that are in my color palette, I, I, people talk to me more when I'm out and about. I get hit on more, which is not necessarily a positive, but like I have noticed that I guess I look more alive or something when I wear that. So I've just noticed that it does make a difference when you, when you do the color theory as to how people interact with you. But I also just feel like I look prettier too. I guess maybe overall it just boosts everything, but I picked this up for that reason. I would probably get lots of wears out of it, hopefully before it sells, um, but that is why I picked that up. I'm always willing to pay like full retail price if it's something I think I can get use out of before it sells, if that makes sense. And then the biggest surprise, besides the entire run of awesome Carhartt, is I found Burberry. So we have a pair of Burberry London women's skinny jeans. These are the Oaklands. And you're like, why are you picking up skinny jeans? I literally only pick these up because they're Burberry. They are actually Burberry. They have all of the, the thingies that tell you it's Burberry. <laughs> oh my goodness. And yeah, so they're a pair of size 31 women's skinny jeans in this maroon red color and I did look it up because I was like is this really gonna work because you know skinny's kind of not in right now but I did check comps and they were selling for you know 30 to 40 dollars even skinny colored jeans so especially at a size you know 31 I think I said yeah 31 women's uh, I figured good size it's Burberry very good haul overall. I'm very proud of myself. I'm so glad I decided to like trust my gut and just go for a regular thrift instead of going to the bins. It also wasn't as taxing on like my back and neck because I'm not like spending three hours digging through books, which I did miss a little bit, but I overall am very happy. Again, hopefully everything will be listed by the time this video goes out. 
and I've got a lot of laundry to do. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Hero, hero. Hero, hero. I wanna be a hero, hero. Oh, the hero.